exhibition clip, we'll be studying about environmental geography, learning about sustainable development, national parks, why the countryside needs protecting, conflicts in national parks, in MEDCs and LEDCs, protection of rainforests, global warming, and a few key words. This revision clip is about sustainable development, looking after our resources today so it doesn't compromise the ability of future generations to also use that resource. For example, replanting trees when, cut, when they are cut down, using renewable resources like solar energy, putting quotas on fish and rules on net size, and fuel tax for fuel efficient cars. So why do we need to protect the countryside? It is an area of outstanding natural beauty. The area provides an important habitat for plants and animals. The trees also produce oxygen. If we didn't protect these natural beautiful areas, there is a risk that they might be destroyed and become urban areas. We need to preserve the ways of life of the people who have lived in the national parks. It is a beautiful place where the general public can go and enjoy the outdoor pursuits and visit the areas of the countryside. So how do we actually protect the countryside? Well, the government has established areas where the environment is protected by law. There are national parks, which are large areas of beautiful countryside where people go for recreation, but where other people still live and work. Heritage coasts, which are stretches of beautiful coastline that are protected in a similar way to the national parks. Environmentally sensitive areas are areas where the beauty of the landscape depends on the maintaining traditional farming methods and the nature reserves, which are small areas where plants and animals need to be protected from human activities that could disturb or destroy them. One way that we protect the countryside is by establishing national parks. The purpose of national parks is the topic of this next revision clip. The basic purposes of national parks are here. National parks were invented in 1949 for a few basic reasons. To protect standing areas of, from development, to preserve old ways of life, to encourage people to live outdoors as much as possible, and so people can visit areas of co countryside that they couldn't do if they lived in urban areas. We are now going to move on to purposes for animals. It provides them with a safe habitat that they can get away from all the, from all the urban areas where they are under danger. Food is easily accessible and it provides the escape, as I mentioned before, from urban areas. There are also purposes in national parks for plants. Natural, unheim environments means they have space to reproduce effectively and to continue biodiversity throughout the area and the United Kingdom. It also provides food for nearby herbivores. So national parks are very important. So where are all these national parks in the UK? There are 15 national parks in the UK. New Forest, South Downs, Dartmoor, Exmoor, Brecon Beacons, Pembrokeshire Coast, The Broads, Peak District, Snowdonia, Yorkshire Dales, Lake District, North York Moors, Northumberland, Loch Lomond and the Trossachs and the Carnagorns. It's great that there are so many national parks in the world. But in the national parks, there are lots of conflicts that occur. There are many problems that occur in national parks. Some that occur in MEDC national parks, such as the Lake District, are activities using the same paths, traffic congestion, which causes pollution, soil erosion, which gives the landscape scars, holiday cottages, which is upping the price of housing in the area, meaning that many locals can't afford housing. Honeypots, which are areas that attract most people, are having tourists ruining the features that made the village popular in the first place. Litter, which is unpleasant for people to look at. Cars are hitting animals, causing their death and detracting from their population. Dogs are fouling, which is unpleasant for walkers. These problems are being solved by areas being zoned, so, special, so activities have specialist areas. Traffic congestion is being managed by more car parks and people being encouraged to use public transport. 
Soil erosion is being solved by footpaths being reinforced. Holiday cottages are having new homes built only for locals. Honeypots are having de development concentrated, especially in them. Litter is having more bins provided. Animals um, are not dying as much anymore because people are being encouraged to leave cars at home and use public transport. And now there are special areas for dogs and dog bins are being supplied. Also, for the animals, the New Forest ponies are being given fluorescent collars so they can be seen at night. Problems also occur in LEDC national parks, such as soil erosion causing dust storms, fishermen are being banned from their local fishing grounds, animals are trampling crops, which, which stops, sorry, which are... Oh, Locals have Which locals uh, been growing all year and they lose their food supply. Coral reefs are being destroyed. Villagers' land is being taken for hotels, leaving many homeless. The Maasai tribe are being forced out of their homes. And beaches are being reserved only for hotel guests. Poaching is detracting from the population of animals. And too many minibuses are detracting from the normality of the wildlife. These problems are being managed by tourists being encouraged to stay with locals rather than building large hotels. Tourists have to pay a tax which helps with conservation in the area. And tourists are being educated in local culture. And poaching is being solved by anti-poaching anti -poaching squads. A rhino horn now is worth about $40,000. A major environmental problem we have in the world today are, is rainforest destruction. Uh, the major rainforests are in Brazil and Central Africa and in Indonesia and they're being cut down. So why are they being cut down? Tropical rainforests are, a risk, are at risk of agriculture, which is forests cleared to provide more farmland. Settlement, large-scale settlement programs mean forests need to be cleared. Logging, valuable trees are harvested for export. Dams, plans to build dams will mean many trees are, down, are cut down. Ranching, the forest is burned then turned into pasture to graze beef cattle. Mining, the Amazon rainforest is rich in minerals such as gold, iron ore and bauxite. Roads, 12,000 kilometres of roads have opened up the Amazon rainforest to settlers. A major environmental problem today is of course global warming, or sometimes called the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is the way that the atmosphere traps heat from the sun that is reflected back off the Earth's surface. Gases in the atmosphere, such as carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and methane, hold in the heat. This keeps the surface of the Earth warm. Without this greenhouse effect, the earth will be too cold for life. People are adding more, ga more greenhouse gases to the atmosphere than naturally occur. Methane from landfill and farming sites, carbon dioxide from power stations, and nitrous gases from fertilisers. These gases trap additional heat, increasing the greenhouse effect, so the earth gets hotter, causing global warming. Also, Deforestation reduces the amount of trees available to convert carbon dioxide to oxygen. So, carbon dioxide is increasing, and that's been linked to a t the temperature rise. So, what's the problem? Global temperatures have increased by 0.6 degrees in the past 100 years. Over time, this will change the world's climate zones. Dry areas like Sahara could spread further north to Europe. Cold areas like Alaska could warm up and sustain agriculture. The weather patterns are changing. The USA will become drier, while Britain will become wetter in the winter but much warmer in the summer. Extreme weather events will be more common. Also, the sea levels are rising. The polar ice caps are melting. Sea levels have risen by 25 centimetres in the past 100 years and are set to rise by a further 50 centimetres by 2100. Low-lying parts of the world, like the Ganges Delta in Bangladesh and southern England, could, could flood permanently. There are a few key words that you need to understand to do with the environmental geography topic. A few of them are conservation, 
ecosystem and biodiversity. Conservation is the preservation, protection and restoration of the natural environment, natural ecosystems and wildlife. Ecosystem is an area displaying a distinctive interaction between plants, animals and the physical environment. Biodiversity is the number and variety of all living things within an ecosystem. Good luck with your revision. The best thing to do now is watch the revision movie again and take a few notes of your own. I hope this helps you get your well-deserved A-star in geography.